parades at its Chelmsford studios. Well, now programmes are recorded and sent to Ireland, where they're transmitted legally on shortwave. Not so long ago, Radio Merlin was taken off the air following a series of raids by police and Department of Trade inspectors. Now, though, the station is back and broadcasting to the world. Elton 6240 kilohertz, 48 metre European band. You tune to Radio Merlin International, broadcasting to Europe on 6240 kilohertz. Radio Merlin, based at Chelmsford, is operating within the law by recording its programmes and sending them to a legal transmitter site 500 miles away. The transmitter in the Republic of Ireland broadcasts on shortwave. Listeners in Canada, the United States, Britain, the Low Countries, Scandinavia and Russia are able to pick up the station. It's so different to being a local radio station and um, one thing Britain has got which still rules the world is music and uh, a lot of the station, um, sorry, a lot of countries opening up in Russia, China and places like that are just hungry for um, English music. The radio station doesn't pay its presenters. They pay to go on the air and to gain valuable broadcasting experience. Initially, the station is on the air one day a week, but the eventual aim is to broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Listeners around the world have been writing in to say what type of music they want to hear. Presenters are deliberately catering for a wide range of tastes. The thing is, I think we're doing something that nobody else is doing in the way that if you want to tune in, any radio band, wherever you tune in, all you'll find is classic music stations, golden oldies, 24 hours a day. There's nothing else. I try to play a wide, wide range of rock music. Um, I specialise in playing rock music. And I try to aim at more or less obscure tracks that people probably haven't heard before. Right, if you just the station is already looking for further transmitter sites, which could extend its coverage right around the world. Radio Merlin International is certainly living up to its name. Timothy Evans, Chelmsford. The wife of a... <laughs>